Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Hi. Great, those are good news. How was your day? How was your day? How was the traffic? It's crazy. It's crazy, right? It's very heavy. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Maybe it's because today's payday, I guess. It's probably. Oh, yeah, yes. right here. How are you doing with the platform? Como van con la plataforma? I finished session four. Okay, that's great. You finish section four, so you're up to date. That's nice. And the rest of you? Oh, no yet. No I, yet. I don't finish two. I, you haven't finished. Uh, por donde, no. en, en cual va? Uh, Get a man. The, the, como la última sección, algo así. La cinco. Mm. The lesson four. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Ya hicieron uh -huh. el midterm. Sí, ahora lo hice. Ok, muy bien. ¿Hay algún tema que sientan dificultad, que necesiten que repasemos? Lo van a pensar. Sí. Ok, ya la otra semana terminamos, ¿verdad? El, el, el módulo este, so... Um, la otra semana haría en el examen final, tienen que estar listos y bueno, aún nos quedarían cuatro clases después de esta. Si encuentran o, o se toman un tiempo en el fin de semana para repasar las secciones, tal vez encuentren algún tema que eh, se les dificultó y que quisieran que repasemos, me lo hacen saber el lunes. Okay. Para yo preparar un repaso basado en lo que ustedes necesitan. Okay. Okay. For today, we're going to study the past of B. So uh, we're gonna start. What is the past of B? Well, we're gonna start with a conversation. Okay. Uh, mm. Okay, we have this conversation, but let me see, there is um, this one, this is where we start. As you can see, the conversation said, I was born in South Korea. I was born in South Korea. Mm -hmm. I was born in South Korea. I was born, I was born in, South in South Korea. Let's repeat. Where were you born, Melissa? Where, where were you born? born? Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. I was born I was in South born Korea. Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. Oh, so you were born in the U.S. No, I came here in 2005. No, no, I came I here, here in 2005. 2005. You were pretty young. You were, you were pretty, pretty young. young. Yeah, I was only 17. Yeah, yeah I was I only was 17. 17. Did you go to college right away? Did you go to, yeah, college, you go to college right away? away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. No, no, my English was very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. 
Well, you're well, English is really good now. Really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Thanks. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. I hope so. I was born here. I had so. so. I was born here. Okay. Uh, do you have any question about vocabulary? Not. No, no questions about vocabulary. Okay, let's listen maybe to Pedro and Roxana. Practice the conversation. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, where are you born, Melissa? I was born in California. Oh, so you, so you were born in the U.S.? In the US? No, I can't go in the Casi no le escucho. It's difficult. Okay. Mm. You were pretty young. Did you, yeah. did you go? Did you go? Did you did you go to college right away? No, my English was very good. Well, your English is is really good now. I hope so. I was born here. Okay, let's listen to Andrea and Marcel. Okay, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I came here in 2005. Mm, you were very young? Yeah, I was only 17. Do you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes, classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. I heard so. I was born here. Okay, you did a very, very good job. Um, does anybody of you two, Chris, Andrea, or myself, want to practice with Pedro? I'm sorry, teacher. Con Pedro? Ah, conmigo, okay. Sí, se siento que no, no pudo hacer bien la práctica por los problemas de audio. Sí, es que no le escuchaba. No. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Yo, teacher, Marcel. Okay, Marcel and Pedro. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in, in the U.S.? No, I came here in 2005. Mm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. I hope so. I was born here. Okay, great. Very good. Now, um, to start with the topic, I have a presentation for you about the past simple which is a uh, with the verb to be it's a little bit different from the uh, simple past that we have been studying so si se acuerdan que revisamos el pasado simple estuvimos estudiando eso hace una semana verdad sí. okay. no sé qué es lo que pasa voy a silenciar un ratito Ya se fue ese ruido extraño. Ok. Uh, eh, eh, ¿Qué recuerdan del pasado simple que estuvimos viendo? ¿Qué son? No sé, no sé. Recuerdo mucho si eran los verbos irregulares. Verbos regulares. Y verbos irregulares, Irregular. existían verbos regulares, verbos irregulares. Uh -huh. 
¿Cómo hacíamos oraciones negativas? Con el auxiliar did. Ajá, con el auxiliar did not or didn't. ¿Y las preguntas? No se conjugaba el verbo. No se conjugaba el verbo y también se utilizaba el auxiliar did o didn't. Ajá. Didn't. Sí. El pasado simple del verbo to be, ¿qué significa el verbo to be? ¿Recuerdan? Cero estar. Cero estar. Uh -huh. Entonces el pasado sería como fui o estuve, fue o estuvo, ¿verdad? Y se conjuga into was y were. ¿Cuándo voy a usar cada uno de ellos? Ok. I can say Tom is at school today. Esto es en presente, pasado. Tengo un ejemplo que dice Tom was at home yesterday. Is en pasado es was. Okay. We are at school today. This is present. We were at home yesterday. So el are se convierte en were. Okay, how do we for the affirmative statements? For I, he, she, it, we use was. In negative, wasn't. Um, for the subject, we, you, they, we use were. Negative is weren't. Okay. Si se fijan, ya empezamos a ver la diferencia. En el sentido que este es verbo y auxiliar y se conjuga él solo. No necesita usar el did not. Para ahí sí no van a meter el did para nada. ¿Ok? Ni otro verbo. No van a combinar el pasado simple con otro verbo. Si es to be, va a trabajar con ese to be. Was, were. Si es negativa, was not. O were not, que contractado o en forma corta es wasn't y weren't. Mm -hmm. Were not o was not. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, uh, yo no estuve, yo no estuve en clase ayer, ¿cómo diría? I, I, wasn't. I wasn't yesterday. I wasn't. In class yesterday. yesterday. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Si queremos decir no estuvimos, <risa> no estuvimos en el cine la fin de semana pasado. We. We weren't. Weren't. We weren't in this. At the movies. At the movie. The last at, weekend. The, the last, last weekend. weekend. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces ya vimos que no se combina con los demás verbos ni con otro auxiliar. Okay. Si es afirmativo, I, he, she, it, vamos a usar was. Si es negativo, wasn't. You, we, they, vamos a usar were. Negativo, weren't. Okay. En preguntas sucede lo mismo. No se utiliza el did. No. Se utiliza siempre el mismo verbo. No utiliza auxiliar. Ok. Pueden ver. Eh, esto está... Questions. Primero vamos a usar was o were dependiendo del sujeto. Was I at school yesterday? Was he at school yesterday? Was she at school yesterday? Was it at school yesterday? Dependiendo del sujeto siempre. Was o were. Were we at the school yesterday? Were you at the school yesterday? Were they at the school yesterday? Para dar la respuesta, esto es lo mismo que se conoce como y es no questions. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero preguntar, uh, was Roxana 
in class yesterday? Estuvo Roxana in class de ayer? Was Roxana in class yesterday? Si la respuesta es afirmativa, ustedes dirían, yes, she was. Yes, she was. O no, she wasn't. Ok, no okay. utilizan nada, no va el did, did not, no. El mismo para preguntar, el mismo para responder. Ok. Vamos bien, hay preguntas, va quedando claro. Claro. Vamos bien, ok. So, short answers, respuesta corta, lo que les estaba mencionando. Was he at home yesterday? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were you at home yesterday? Yes, you were. No, you weren't. Con lo mismo, si ustedes se fijan, ¿verdad? Esta presentación igual se las voy a mandar en su WhatsApp. No se preocupen si no tomaron fotos o si no escribieron, yo se las mando. Uh -huh. And esta es como una historia para que vean el uso. One day Bill, como Bill es un nombre de, en este caso el animalito es tercera persona singular, was. One day Bill was hungry. As you can see, Bob was hungry too. Fred was in the park. He wasn't hungry. Chuck, Ted, and Benji, and Beethoven were also in the park. This is plural, right? Poor dog, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Tenemos cuatro perros, Chuck, Ted, Benji, yes. and Beethoven. Oh. Entonces, ya no es singular, ¿verdad? Son ellos, they. they. Ajá, entonces utilizamos were. Were. Ajá. Yes, they were. They, they were also in the park. Uh -huh. They weren't okay. hungry. They were happy. Uh -huh. There was a sign bill. He also said it was very funny. Eso fue muy gracioso. Espero estar en pasado. Soon we were in the park too. Pronto, también estábamos en el parque. We were fast and we were still hungry. There was a chest in the sandbox. It was full of wool. Uh -huh. Estaba llena de huesos. Cero estar. Es there were bones for everyone. Habían huesos para todos. There was one for Bob. Acuérdense que cuando hablamos de existencia en presente decíamos there is para singular. There are para plural, ¿verdad? Sí. En pasado cambia también. Aquí digo, um, por ejemplo, there is a car. Hay un carro. There is a car on the table. Si lo desaparezco, para decir había un carro, there was. There was a car on the table. Había un carro en la mesa, ya no está. Ok. Singular, plural, there were. Había. Uh, there was a bone for Bob and one for Ted and one for Fred. 
there were bonds for every word. Y es para que ustedes hagan uh, el ejercicio. I. ¿Cuál quedaría bien acá para completar? Wasn't. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, I wasn't at home yesterday. I was. Was. Uh -huh. I was at the school. Now, I was, I, was happy. I was happy. I was happy because my friends were, were. My friends were at school too. They were happy. Yes, they were happy too. Was, was, was in the playground. That's it. Last week. He was. He wasn't. Was. He was with his dad. With his dad. Tom's mom. Mom. Was. 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 Mm. No. <laughs> it's negative. Was. Uh -huh. Was. Was. Sí, aquí solo está con yes. el papá, so la mamá no está ahí. Tom, Tom's mom wasn't in the playground. Tom. The slide, slide es el deslizadero. Slide. Wasn't. Tom wasn't on the slide. Uh -huh. Tom wasn't on the slide. No estaba en el desliladero. Deslizadero. <laughs> no estaba en el deslizadero. Él estaba. He was on the swing. Uh -huh. Él estaba en el columpio. columpio. He was on the swing. Okay. Be nice. Now, continue. Sally and Tom. Where? 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 Ajá, uh -huh, porque son dos personas. So that's plural. Sally and Tom were in the zoo last weekend. They're elephants. Where? Where? Ajá. Uh -huh. There were elephants in the zoo. They was. No, they is plural. They were. Uh, teacher, what's mean? Huge. 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 Huge is like enormous. Grandes. Mm. They oh. were huge. Uh -huh. But the children weren't. Weren't. Uh -huh. But the children weren't scared. Uh -huh. Los niños no estaban asustados. The children it, weren't scared. It was. It was right. great. It was great. <coughs> uh -huh. Yesterday it was snowing. Yesterday wasn't. Was. Where? It was. It was snowy. It wasn't not hot. It wasn't hot. That's the point. Was. Uh huh. It wasn't hot. The boys were. Where? The boys. Weren't. Weren't sad. Mm -hmm. They were happy. They were happy. Where? Mm -hmm. They were happy. The children were. 
where in the garden. Gar where? 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 In the street, last Monday. It was in quiet. Mm -hmm. It was very, very nice. nice. There, were, there, were, there, were, there were many cars. Many car. There were. Well, some. There were some lorries too. What's mean lorries? Lorry, eh, las lorry son eh, los camiones como estos, es lorry. Mm. Lorry. Las rastras. Mm -hmm. Lorry. Okay. It was, it was seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Tony was. Tony was in there. He was in. He wasn't happy. He was. He was. He was asleep. Sleep. Sleep. He wasn't. But he wasn't very sleep. No. What? No. What? He was. Uh -huh. Estaba muy cansado. ¿no? Muy somnoliento. Somnoliento. Uh -huh. Very sleepy. I was. I was. I was in the park yesterday. Really? Was it was. Was it good? Okay. Yes, was it was great. Yes, it was great. Where? Where there? Were, were there your friends? Uh huh. Not they? No, they weren't. Where? No, they weren't. I, I, was, I was, was with, with my, my dog. dog. With my dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, uh, you will do an extra exercise. This is quite, quite, quite a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. I okay, tienen un ejercicio extra. Solo tengo que cerrar unas ventanitas. Mm -hmm. Ok. Okay, you have this exercise. British homes. We're going to use was or were. Find out about uh, homes in different periods of British history. Complete the sentence with the past of B. If you find it to say not, it means that you're going to write it in negative. Si dice not, es que lo van a escribir en negativo, así como hemos estudiado que es el negativo del verb to be. Y si no, pues ahí va a ir adecuando was o were. Lo que pueden hacer, esta hojita también se la voy a mandar a WhatsApp. Lo que pueden hacer ahorita es nada más escribir uh, las respuestas en su cuaderno y luego las revisamos. Solo was, were, was not, were.
Ready? Yes. No teacher. Finished? Yes. Okay, I volunteer to read the first one, the cells. The cells. The cells were in England from? The cells were? The cells were in England from, how do you say, 700? 700. 700 BC, the typical Celtic house, weren't. Mm, it's singular. Wasn't. Ah, uh -huh, porque this is in singular. The typical Celtic house. House. Uh -huh, wasn't. Wasn't it was, it was a small and round without any windows. Okay, without any windows, very good. Uh, a volunteer for the second one, the Roman houses. It weren't, weren't. like uh, Celtic houses. Like Celtic house. Celtic yeah. house. Uh -huh. The Roman houses weren't like Celtic houses. Celtic houses were. Were very, very simple. House mm -hmm. were very beautiful. Uh huh. The floor of the Roman house was. Uh huh. Was often a mosaic. Okay, was often a mosaic. Very good. Now the third one, Viking houses. Andrea, Marcel. Pedro? Marcel. Okay, Marcel. Viking houses were long buildings. Animals and people were together in the same building. So the house wasn't very clean. Okay, excellent. Now for Henry VIII, uh, volunteer. Andrea. Okay, Andrea. Henry was king during Tudor period in England. Tudor homes 
were often bland and white. Okay. Uh, Tudor homes were often black. Uh huh. Okay, good job. Now, Queen Victoria, a volunteer for reading the Queen Victoria. Pedro. Queen Victoria was queen was queen during the Victorian period. Victorian house Victorian houses was very attractive and the mm. window no where where and were some houses Victoria, so plural, yeah, plural. So. Uh -huh. Victoria houses were very attractive and the windows um hijo often como se dice and the often. windows often 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 colorful colorful but, uh, but the houses were very close together. Okay, but the houses were very close together. Okay, I see you're doing good. Let's continue with the next part. Okay, let's see the next part. Okay, aquí está más fácil, pueden poner número. One, two, three, there are 13 spaces that you will complete with the past of the verb B2. Let me make it bigger for you. I can, yes. Okay. For example, the number one, how? Your last school trip. Was or were? Was. Uh huh. How was your last school trip? So I'll give you time for you to complete it. Read and complete.
finished? Okay, uh, let's see. In number one, we said, how was your last school trip, right? Yes. yes. Number two? Was it, was it interesting or surprising? Okay, was it interesting or surprising? Okay, and number three? Where? Where? Mm. Uh, it's not where, no es where, porque it está, was. sí, porque oh, está well. hablando siempre del viaje. Uh -huh. Al estar That's hablando it. del viaje es was, uh -huh. or last oh, well, trip. Was, was to, to Windsor, Castle. Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle is one of the Queen's homes, but she only stays there at the weekend. We were. We were. Yes, we were there on Monday, so the Queen and her family was. Was there. Where? Where? Because some family were there. Y la reina. Uh huh. Weren't there. Ajá, uh -huh, no estaban ahí. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. well, yeah. well, uh -huh. Porque dice que ella, ella solo está ahí los fines de semana. Nosotros estuvimos ahí en lunes, eh, por lo tanto la reina y su familia no estaban ahí. Okay. So the queen and her family weren't there. Yeah. They... Number they six, were, they, they were, were at Buckingham Palace, Palace, the Queen's home in London. There, number seven, where, there where? were uh -huh. many beautiful chairs. Uh -huh. There were many beautiful chairs and carpet in Windsor Castle. Mm -hmm. But my favorite thing what? What? was, uh -huh. but my favorite thing was Queen Mary's doll's house. It, it uh, yeah, it was um, it a was a from gift the, uh, from the <coughs> from the people of England to the Queen Mary, the wife of George V. In the twenties, most doll houses are toys for children, but Queen Mary was was. was wasn't, uh-huh, was not. But Queen Mary wasn't a child at that time. She was, she, uh -huh, was she an was an adult. Uh-huh, she wasn't a child at that time. She was an adult. The doll's house and the items in it were. Where, uh huh, and the items in it were miniature copies of Windsor Castle and the real things in it furniture, curtains, lamps, bottles of wine, and even toilet paper. The miniatures where? were, uh huh, the I'm miniatures not. were amazing. I guess dolls' house aren't only for children. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So oh, that was the answer, I sent you completely perfectly. You did a very, very good job. Okay. So we can move on this. Okay. As we have been studying this, I would like you to complete this reading. In this reading, you have the two options. Tienen las dos opciones, was or were. Igual, van a leer y completar con una de las dos opciones que aparece ahí. Luego, les quedaría de tarea hacer algo similar acerca de ustedes. Por el momento, van a responder acá, my family and I. Where my family and I were all born in South Korea. Veanlo un ratito, analícenlo y vayan escribiendo las respuestas aparte y luego chequeamos.
finished? Yes. Yes. Okay, a volunteer to read the answers? A volunteer? My family and I were born in South Korea. We weren't born in the US. I was born in the city of Incheon and my brother was born there too. My parents weren't born in the Incheon. They were born in the capital Seoul. So, uh huh. In Korea, my father was, was my a father man. was a businessman, and my mother was, was a teacher. Was a teacher. Okay. Como ejercicio adicional, podrían ustedes hacer algo similar acerca de ustedes. Um, like for example, I can say my family and I weren't all born in San Miguel. My father and my mother were born in San Miguel. My brothers and I were born in Mexicanos. Mm -hmm. okay. My father, my father was an engineer and my mother was a dressmaker. Uh -huh. Pueden hacer un parrafito similar acerca de ustedes y su familia para que practiquen un poco más con was y were. Uh -huh. eh, hicieron un buen trabajo con los ejercicios. Veo que comprendieron muy bien el tema. Así que no creo que tengan problemas en completar los primeros ejercicios de la unidad 5, sección 5. Recuerden que es la última y les queda doble tarea. Hacer un parrafito similar a, al que acabamos de terminar y revisar la plataforma de la unidad 1, section 1, section 2, 3, 4. Y si encuentran algún tema que, se, que les recuerde que fue el difícil, me lo hacen saber el lunes para hacer un repaso para prepararlo. Ok. 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 So I hope you have a very good weekend. Um, Try to rest, sleep, but don't forget to complete the platform, please. Yes. Okay, so see you on Monday. Bye. Bye, Bye take Monday. care. See you. Bye.